We've got to get to all the latest bio wars and enviro health on the Gulf oil spill and so much more. Cover up chemtrails and corporatocracy. The BP DHS cover up of Gulf oil spill goes Orwellian. We also, this would be the third story we covered on the most recent episode of New World Next Week, not com. They said one thing, you could talk to people, you could take photos, now you can't. Now people are getting arrested. A ProPublica.org reporter arrested for photographing on a public road. BP, DHS, in collusion. There's so many things here, and again, these would be episodes unto itself to go into each week. All the more ridiculous details, and again, the Gulf oil spill looks and smells a whole hell of a lot more as the days and weeks and months go by that remind us of Katrina and 9-11. Gulf Coast now a BP police state as law enforcement conspires with BP to intimidate journalists. More on that from naturalnews.com. From MSNBC, photographer detained by police and BP employee near refinery. And even Glenn Greenwald on salon.com calling it quite simply, as he always does, quite effectively. BP government police state. Something we've meant to mention as a warning to all Gulf volunteers and as a reminder to everyone else, almost every cleanup worker from the 1989 Exxon Valdez disaster is dead. The connections, again, that we said to 9-11, the air safe to breathe, first responders, oh, you don't need any safety gear. Mandatory evacuations being planned for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. We've touched on this. We've already had recently an oily insider and Council on Foreign Relations minion, Matthew Simmons, talk about evacuations being planned. And yet BP remains key Pentagon oil supplier. More on that from the AFP. U.S to take more control of spill response website that would be complete control homeland security taking over the duties of the outlet that's supposed to tell everybody everything thousands already evacuated in texas and mexico as the storm approaches more on that from the telegraph oh yes and they have a video thousands of people evacuated from their homes in northeastern Mexico. The floods are simply destroying houses. Part nature, but some of this is caused by man. In order to stop further devastation, parts of the country are being flooded on purpose for what officials say is the greater good. They fear that one of the biggest dams, Bernus Titiano Caranza, might overflow and engulf the surrounding area. Floodgates have been opened to try and ease the load, but that is causing more flooding. Elsewhere, two bridges to the US have been shut as police try and usher people to higher ground. Some government workers were surveying the damage to the country. Their plane crashed, eight died. Many more people's lives are at risk. Police urging residents to leave their homes, but is this the last time that they'll see them? Some streets are empty except for the water. Another storm is on its way. Jesus. Oil industry gains billions of dollars in government subsidies. We also have BP now dumping oil waste in Gulf landfills. More on that from allgov.com, as well as raw story. And then around the other side of the world, Chinese to begin international deep sea mining. But then right back here, from foodsafetynews.com, Gulf Seafood's future remains unknown. But to take it to the level that everyone can understand, hundreds of fishermen missing their checks from British Petroleum. Hundreds of fishermen from Lake Charles to Moss Point, Mississippi, were supposed to get checks today from BP. They did not, and tonight their lawyer wants answers. Jeffrey Wright represents more than 500 fishermen, and he says the payment system he set up with BP required his clients be paid every 30 days. But now that process has suddenly changed, and without warning. Well, not only do they spring it on us that this process has changed, the people that I've been dealing with for six weeks who've done a good job 
say, we don't know what the process is going to be. We're not authorized to talk to you about it. Someone from BP will contact you. But Bright hasn't heard from BP or its lawyers. He says the claims people have been given so much conflicting information about the process that they can't provide answers. They couldn't tell me. And I said, I've got 500 people I'm meeting on Saturday. They want to know what the process is. And this isn't the first time BP has been down the road of conflicting information. On June 11th, BP security contractors tried to keep us from speaking to cleanup workers, despite the fact that BP released a statement two days earlier saying the workers could speak to the media. And back on May 14th, frustration in St. Bernard. Local fishermen were upset with low pay and out-of-towners taking their work. The unfortunate problem is that these people don't have weeks of paychecks stored up in their drawers to say, okay, I'll just reach into my savings. The lawyer Jeffrey Bright is meeting with some fishermen from Moss Point in the morning and more on Saturday in Jennings. Bright says BP hasn't given him any indication when those payments will resume. So that's all the latest Gulf oil spill updates now in what, week nine? But the other half of our Bio Wars Enviro Health updates on the chemtrails and cover ups and corporatocracy, a follow up on something we hit last week. This time from Paul Joseph Watson. Scientists admit chemtrails are creating artificial clouds. Scientists now admit, admit that emissions from aircraft are forming artificial clouds that block out the sun, precisely what geoengineering advocates like top eugenicist and White House science advisor John P. Holdren have called for. But the article that we mentioned last week, written by Oliver Tree in the Daily Mail, tries to insinuate that the effect is caused by natural vapors, when in reality it can be attributed to chemtrails that contain substances harmful to humans. Now, I said we'd return to Shasta County, and here we are with a full video that you can check out on the Shasta County Chemtrail or Geoengineering Contamination Cover-Up. Hey, uh, yeah, hi. Ross? Yeah. Hey, Mike Murphy. Hey, Mike. I'm in town. I'm a filmmaker from Los Angeles, and we're covering an issue called Geoengineering. So we're coming in and talking to a lot of people. Apparently, a lot of people have been finding heavy amounts of aluminum and barium in their soil. Um, any knowledge of that? This is what? what? People have been reporting to this board findings of aluminum and barium. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. The, uh, the air board. So essentially, why why we're here? There's a there's a yeah, growing concern yeah, the that the air board met a year, two years ago, a mm -hmm. year ago on this. Mm -hmm. Two years. Ago. Now there's mass contamination. What's been done about that? Now the air board met a couple of years ago on this. Okay. So nobody has reported this contamination they to this office? They to the Air Board. Okay. What, what did they say? They, they said they'd forward the, uh, the emissions, uh, the reports to the U.S. EPA and uh, the Air Resources Board. So you have not been made aware of any uh, large amounts of barium aluminum? I've been told found. of these reports that they okay. see it in rainwater, mm -hmm. uh, they can see it in the soil. So... What's being done about this? Aluminum is very toxic. Aluminum is the what is it? The most common metal in the world. Mm -hmm. But not in free form, and apparently, it's been reported to the office in free form. And I think the concern is, at least what people are telling Paul and myself, is that ecosystems might be dying off for this. People are seeing an increase in Alzheimer's. And what we're hearing, and we just want to set the record straight, we're hearing that nothing is being done, so we want to know why. Are, are the people that are reporting this to us, are they incorrect? Or... Or... What? We've noted for a long time that when you say Kim Trails, people think you're nuts. The term, the phrase that pays from the CFR to your local corporate connected government press releasing, release reading news outlet geoengineering they are putting barium and aluminum into the atmosphere is it just for eugenics is it to make us sick is it to do with global warming is it to seed the skies so they can put up a massive operation blue beam psyop and project the messiah in the sky like a world